the tall boy experience. Tall boy. Tall boy. This gentrification thing is going on. And y'all sitting back watching this, right? We got property all around this belt line. I've only been investing in the belt line because that's where Vesta Holdings is invested. And they taking everybody's property, right? Black folks that live in the hood, vis-a-vis -vis the West End, English Avenue, Munson, Rockmar, Bernard Street, MLK, all of that, you know what I'm talking about, Simpson Road, uh, Rick Film down there. Don't sell them properties. These people are coming, they got Bouviers and Mastiffs, they walk in at three o'clock in the morning. Nobody walks no Bouvier and Mastiff on Simpson Road and MLK, you serious? You gotta blow your head off. But these folks are running around, yitty, 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 walking their door. So do you know what that means? This is from my experience in real estate and I'm not a, 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 a master, but I know white folks increase the value of the neighborhood, period. I'm sorry if I'm making you feel uncomfortable, that's a business play. You see white folks moving in your neighborhood, you don't sell, period. They don't have no problems moving next to you because they know when they move in there and they call the police, they they and John John that's pumping on the corner, they got limited time. Because one thing that white folks understand is that they are landlords, they are the lord of the land. They don't have no problems calling narcotics and moving your black behind out of here. Why do y'all not invest in your own land and these poor people are muscling you out? I don't understand that. So if we wanna really do something, this is a great panel, I'm very happy at the fact that we're creating this conversation, but the real deal is, buy your own neighborhoods back. Del Zeno talking about buy back, buy black, buy back your black. You know what I'm saying with this gentrification thing? Because they're doing it everywhere. They're doing it in Detroit. They're doing it in Chicago. They're doing it in Seattle, Washington. They're doing it in Portland. They just left New York City. They're doing it in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. Come on, man. Who does this? And we just sit back. Okay, Mr. Anderson. I don't know. I ain't got no money. Find the money. Y'all got money to buy red bottoms. Y'all got money to buy all this insidious, stupid stuff. And I say this in closing. This fool, I went into the Sitco gas station because I own these properties on Honeysuckle. 1930 Honeysuckle Lane is the first property I ever bought. Went to the Sitco gas station to get some gas. This fool had gold, so much gold in his mouth. And I'm looking in his mouth. Hey, shout it. Let me get the uh, 456 straight box. Let me get the 789 straight box, 875 straight box, and 987 straight box. Shout it. Yeah, right there. Let me get the Swisher Sweet and the guy that, uh, what is all the watermelon uh, Swisher right there, shout it. The entire grill, mustn't from here to here, caps. So that means he had an ounce. A cap is about an ounce ago. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ten on the top, ten on the bottom. Jewel, how much is the, the, the gold traded for right now? 12? About 1082. 1082. An ounce. An ounce. This fool got 20 in his mouth. <laughs> Talking about give me a swish and sweet shout it. What's up, folks? <laughs> On Campbellton Road. And Tyler Perry just bought for McPherson. And y'all just sitting here looking crazy. Like, what's up, folks? What's up, my new? What it is, dog? No, it's not about that. Y'all don't own nothing. But y'all wanna sit here and act like, oh, we don't understand why this white man coming in here kicking us out. This is our land, it's not your land. He gets it, you don't. So until we start moving like that, which is why I'm glad that Rick gave me the opportunity, because we do, we've been doing that for a long time. And to have somebody shine some light on that, that means that y'all need to be doing that. I don't need to be the only person out there buying judicial foreclosures. Y'all need to be doing that too. I ain't the only one sitting in here raising money to do this. Y'all could be doing that too. I wrote a book about it, my daughter's got it in the back. I've been teaching a class on it quietly. It's kept for the past seven years, and that's the deal of that. Sorry to take so long, but I get excited about it. Your passion, your passion, your passion is spilling out. Think big, think tall, think tall boy.